PM Modi accused opposition leaders of spreading falsehoods about the Citizenship Act, asserting that no one can revoke it. Meanwhile, Delhi CM Kejriwal suggested Modi is paving the way for Home Minister Amit Shah to succeed him. Kejriwal also warned that if BJP came in power, then they will end the reservation. Priyanka Gandhi Wadra pledges support for a woman in response to alleged assault on Swati Maliwal. On the other hand, the Supreme Court stated that Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal granted temporary bail in the Delhi excise policy case, wasn't given any exception to campaign for the Lok Sabha elections. Let's look into more political development for the day. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday targeted the opposition bloc India, accusing them of spreading lies over the issue of Citizenship Act. The Prime Minister further added that CAA is here to stay and nobody can remove it. He said that parties like Samajwadi Party and Congress spread lies over the issue of CAA. They tried their best to burn the country, including UP, in rights. Even today, people of this Indy alliance say that Modi has brought the CAA and the day he goes, CAA will be removed. Addressing a joint presser with Samajwadi Party Chief Akhilesh Yadav in Lucknow, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind K. Jriwal said Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been carefully preparing the ground for Amit Shah to take over as the next Prime Minister. K. Jriwal repeated his claim that Amit Shah would become the Prime Minister after Narendra Modi becomes 75 in 2025 and said that the Prime Minister never said he won't retire after becoming 75. The Supreme Court has said that no exception was given to Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, who was granted temporary bail in Delhi excise policy case to campaign for the Lok Sabha elections. A bench of Justice Sanjeev Khanna and Dipankar Datta added that it welcomes any critical analysis of its judgment. The apex court refused to consider claims and counters of the Enforcement Directorate and Kejriwal's lawyer on statement made related to the interim bail to the Aam Aadmi Party National Convener. The ED, represented by the Solicitor General Tushar Mehta, made objections to the speech being made by Kejriwal after his release from the jail. It was referring to Kejriwal's appeal to the voters that he will not have to return to the jail if the vote for his party and the opposition aligns India. AAP leader and Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal on Thursday said the BJP will change the constitution and end reservation if it comes to power after the Lok Sabha polls. The people of BJP have always been against reservation. They will change the constitution and end reservation after coming to power, he said at a joint press conference with Samajwadi Party President Akhilesh Yadav. Yadav meanwhile claimed that the Safran Party has been defeated in the first four phases of Lok Sabha polls. The remark came ahead of the fifth phase of Lok Sabha polls, which is due on May 20th. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Wadra on Thursday responded to a question on the alleged assault on Aam Aadmi Party's Rajya Sabha MP Swati Malewal, saying she will always stand with women if any atrocity is committed. Earlier this week, Maliwal went to the Civil Lines Police Station and alleged that a member of the Delhi Chief Minister's personal staff assaulted her at the Chief Minister's official residence. She is yet to file a formal complaint in the matter. A day later, AAP leader Sanjay Singh held a press conference, labelling the incidents involving Maliwal as highly condemnable. <laughs>